Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to explain hiding things in ZBrush and sub, well not sub tools, sorry, uh, polygroups. So, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and loaded um, the demo soldier here. It comes with ZBrush, you should have it. So here we can see we have all of these sub tools, so I'm just going to get um, rid of these. So I'm just going to select the eye of the top um, sub tool, and that will just make that visible. Okay, so now that we have this here, press F to frame it if you want to. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you hiding things. So to hide things, you just press Control Shift and then you drag and what's ever in that green area will be um, isolated from everything else. Let's go to Display Properties, select Double so we can see inside the mesh too. Okay, so and um, if we want to invert that selection, all we have to do is press Control Shift drag and then everything else will be um, visible so if you want to make everything visible just control shift click okay so now um, if you just want this section selected now beware though if you like um, bring this out here uh, and then you show it you see the faces will stretch something really bad and it's just not really pleasant so make sure you think about what you're gonna do first with all this stuff like that so another way to do it you go over here to lasso or control shift M control shift and now you can do exact uh, selection C and that's cool and like I said control shift drag to invert it and control shift click to select it and by the way you can also control oops sorry control and um, you know lasso things just to mask them if you just want uh, to do it like that but um, now let's get into polygroups let's go into frame here and we see that this thing uh, this model here has all these different colors and that's because each color each color part represents a different polygroup so if I control shift click this arm here it will isolate it and that's because we made a polygroup well not we didn't um, the maker of this model did and so now he can isolate the arm whenever he wants or he can make uh, it that the arm isn't showing so just control shift click it and then drag control shift drag and now we don't have the uh, arm there so we can just get under here if we want to or whatever we wanted so uh, if you want to select two at one time all you need to do is select one invert it and then anything you hide again will go um, with that other hidden piece so like if I I'll control shift click this as well invert it now I have both my arms so I can um, go ahead and mess with those if I wanted to so let me show you how to make some of uh, some polygroups here um, let's go ahead and go into polygroups and um, the way to do it there's two ways to do it I mean three ways I'm sorry one auto groups two UV groups three group visible I'll explain these really quick auto groups basically let's say we have um, a bunch of uh, parts in this mesh like let's say we have a bunch of teeth in there and uh, all we would have to do is press auto groups and because usually teeth aren't grouped together they're not they don't have faces connecting them anything without connecting faces will be considered its own group if we press auto groups so if we would have eyes in here that were a part of the mesh just auto groups and it would just select those by itself because they're not uh, selected or joined with any faces. UV groups, it would just take the um, the UVs that you have, let's say you you've, you cut a seam here at the arm, it would go ahead and take the point of the cutoff point of the seam where you UV mapped it and then just um, take that point and turn it into a group. And group visible, it groups what is visible. So to make things invisible, just hide them. So let's go ahead and make a couple and then I'll show you guys what I mean. So um, get rid of this mask here. Let's go ahead and um, let's see, is this the highest? No, let me go down uh, in geometry here. So let's go ahead and mask this area off here. Control Shift and dragging, by the way. And then we'll go ahead and Control Shift drag. Do the same thing over here. We're not being exact right now. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, if you want to. Um, not isolate it but put it in that other part that I had there oops sorry all you need to do is um, just 
do what you did before, but uh, while you're doing this, just let go of shift, and that's how you do that. So then we'll invert it, uh, group visible, click to make everything, and uh, we can now, we now have um, poly groups. Yeah. So let's say we only want the left one visible now. So just select this, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, by um, dragging over it with Control Shift, and then let going of letting go of Shift. And they'll have that group visible. Okay, so now the torso or the head, which is, seems to be really easy. So just do the head here. Okay. Group visible. There we have that. And now we have the, the torso automatically. So all we need to do is the body here. So now, um, oh, I didn't have enough, sorry. F. So uh, let's go all the way up here and then around here. Oops. Mm -mm. We're not being specific. So let's say I want a little bit more of the hip. I'll just invert it and then just mask around it. Let go of shift. I just get that part there. But uh, I'm not trying to be specific or anything right now. Just trying to show you guys. Okay, that's good enough. So invert it. Group visible. And uh, just click, and there we have our groups. So now if I want my torso here, just control shift click that, mess with it. And same goes for the head. Oops, um, arms. Um, oops, uh, make everything visible, and the legs. And I could do the whole thing with the legs, but you guys get the point. So that's all there is uh, to poly groups. And um, they really, you might not think it's that big of a difference, but if we go up in subdivision levels and we want to mask something off, it will be jagged like this. So just take our arm, see it's nice and clean here because we did it at a low subdivision level. And that's nice. Well, oops, sorry about that. That was an accident. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. But that's it for this tutorial. And uh, now you know how to work with sub with um, sorry polygroups and how to mask and hide things off. So thanks for watching this tutorial and be sure to watch uh, future tutorials. Okay, thank you.